The basis for modern plumbing came from ancient Rome. As you can see with this sink, most people take it for granted the fact that it can divide up hot and cold water and the fact that we actually have running water in the first place. All of these things came from ancient Rome. Most people see pipes as a recent invention within the last hundred years or so. But most people are wrong. Pipes actually came about 3,000 years ago in the ancient Roman Empire. In ancient Rome, pipes were made out of lead, bronze, terracotta, and many other commonly found materials. This is an example of a commonly used pipe in Rome. This pipe is made out of lead. We know today that it is very poisonous, but back then they did not know. This next picture is an example of a terracotta pipe, another commonly used pipe in Rome. These pools, especially the one in this picture, was heated through solar power. They just left the water out in the sun and it heated. But most pools were heated by another system called hypocaust. It works by circulating heat from a wood furnace under the floors and in walls. The hot pool, the caldarium, was heated from underneath. In the, the tepidarium, the warm pool was heated through the walls. The bathhouses in ancient Rome were a major part of daily life. This was so because it served as a physical and mental outlet for the people. Since it was taboo for men and women to bathe together, women would be first, and then when work was out, the men would go. Another thing that was pioneered in ancient Rome was the public restroom. They started as a bench with holes in the top and in a constant stream of water running underneath to wash the waste away. And forget about privacy in there, because there was no dividers. From there, the wastewater traveled through an underground series of pipes to a major sewer system. The major sewer, some sewer system took it right to the River Tiber, their own water supply. Running water today comes from a series of pumps and pipes. But back in ancient Rome, they came from aqueducts. The reason the Roman Empire needed to build aqueducts is because the population was increasing so fast, the only way to get water to them was to build hundreds of aqueducts around the city. The aqueduct system in Rome were extremely important and an extremely revolutionary way to carry water. They were first built because the river Tiber was not suitable enough for water for Rome, so they needed to get water from faraway locations. The first one was built around 312 BC, and from there on to the fall of the empire, 47 kilometers of them were built. They work by starting at a high point where the water supply is, and over the distance gradually getting less steep, so gravity works, and it's completely gravity powered. Around the end of the Roman Empire, use of them declined because the enemies were destroying them. The aqueducts were comprised of stone and cement, so they were very durable. Some of them even had lead pipes to transport the water in. Once it got to the city, the water was filtered by going, by going through a covered catch basin,